Hi, everyone. My name is Father Joshua Wagner, a Roman Catholic priest from the Diocese of Columbus, Ohio. I'm a featured speaker here at CatholicSpeakers.com, and I am joined today by another featured speaker from the Catholic Speakers Organization, Ken Ogorek. Ken, how are you? Welcome to the little broadcast here. It's great to see you. Doing well, Father. Thanks for having me. So we're just meeting for the first time, so tell me about yourself. Tell me who you are. Tell me what you speak about. Tell me the experience that Audience will, audiences will have if they bring you in to speak to their church, their their school, or their organization? Sure, Father. Uh, for my day job, I'm a diocesan director of catechesis, so uh, I can speak on a variety of topics, faith-related topics, usually in a humorous way, uh, which I think people appreciate. Uh, what I'd love to do, though, is customize my talks for whoever is inviting me in. You know, what's the theme of the event? What do you hope that attendees are going to hear and experience? What are some takeaways you want for them? And uh, then what I always try to do is just put a, put a talk together that does three things. Uh, I want to make the teaching of the church accessible, you know, to your average parishioner, to Joe Sixpack and his wife, Josephine Sixpack. Um, again, I want to, want to include a little bit of humor in there. I think people do appreciate that. And usually, uh, at least once or twice during my talks, I like to give folks an opportunity just to think a little and, and share a, a few of their own thoughts, maybe just with one or two people nearby them. Um, I think people appreciate that. Folks have responded to that real well over the years. I actually know Joe and Josephine Sixpack, and they love it. <laughs> they they love it when you come to talk to them because of the humor and because you 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 make them talk to each other. Because sometimes Joe and Josephine don't always talk to each other, so your talks are an opportunity for them to do that. They love it. They I, I met the Six Packs a couple of years ago at a conference, and so uh, they love it when you come in, Ken, and, and talk to them. So, uh, And they love the humor and everything else like that. So that's great. Um, t tell me, um, uh, what inspires you? What makes you put your feet on the ground in the morning? What, uh, what gets you to, to, to go to work and to spread the gospel in your, in your full-time job and also in this ministry that you've uh, created here for yourself? Father, joy is a big thing for me, just the joy of being a disciple of Jesus. Uh, I, I think we should take our work and our ministry seriously, but really never take ourselves too seriously. Uh, and I think when we interact with people that way, uh, it, it puts them at ease. Uh, they're comfortable. And, and, uh, and I think joy is a big way uh, that the faith has spread over the centuries. You know, people notice something a little different about, about you, and, and, and they ask you, maybe, what, what's your secret? And, and it leads to a conversation, and the next, next thing you know, they're, they're a disciple of Jesus as well. Yeah, abundant joy is why Jesus came here. He, he came to give us a joy and to have it more abundantly, you know, is what he tells us. And I love laughing, and I know that having talked to you here, you love to, to, to be funny and to, to bring laughter to people. And I think Jesus had a great sense of humor. I think that he probably was hilarious with the disciples. You know, those, those uh, 13 dudes hanging out all the time, some, somebody had to be funny, so I'm sure that Jesus got him cracked up all the time. I think it's really important to to get people. It's a great icebreaker. It draws people in. And then once they're listening, you can kind of, you can kind of get them with the deeper, uh, the deeper material, the deeper knowledge that you bring to them to make that faith accessible, because that's what accessible faith is. You, one of the things you said here just a couple of moments ago is that you said you make the faith accessible to people. And when the faith is accessible, they become joyful. Those two things are uh, intrinsically connected to each other. So let me ask you this question. Uh, everybody's favorite saint is the Blessed Mother because everybody's favorite saint has to be the Blessed Mother because Jesus's favorite saint is the Blessed Mother because <laughs> it's his mother. Other than her, who's your favorite saint and why? Well, I guess I'll go with a relative. Uh, I'm kind of a St. John the Baptist guy. I, I love the way that St. John the Baptist was always preparing people for an encounter with Jesus. Um, and, and I also like his attitude of uh, you know, I must decrease and he must increase. And I think that's what a good Catholic speaker does. You know, we, we, we prepare folks for an encounter with our Lord. And really by the end of, of our talk, people ought to be focused more so on Jesus than they are on us. Um, and if I, can, if I can do that when folks invite me out, uh, uh, by God's grace, I, I consider that a successful trip. So, so St. John the Baptist is definitely one of my favorite saints. You know, I was just thinking about as you're talking here, we're kind of in the same business as John the Baptist. You know, our he was a great speaker and one of the first, yeah. he was the first Catholic speaker, right? Uh, and, <laughs> and, and his whole business was to talk, was to point at Jesus and to get out of the way. Um, yeah. And that's what you just said. That's a, he would be a, he's a great patron for, for speakers, I think. That's a really great thing. And of course, I love, one of the things that I love, as you know, is... Um, I love the fact that we put his feast day in the middle of, at the end of June, June 24th, when the days start getting shorter. And then Jesus is 
feast day is the 25th of December when the days start getting longer. And the church does that on purpose. And I just love that. I, and, and you're exactly right. We're, we're here to be kind of signposts like he was, you know, the voice crying out in the desert, uh, make straight the way of the Lord. And that's our job as speakers is to, is to bring the experience of Jesus Christ to people and to then get out of the way, which is exactly what John yeah. the Baptist does. So here's my last uh, question for you, Ken. How do we get you here? How do we get you to our church? How do we get you to our school or organization? What's the best way to, to get you out, to inspire us, to make us laugh, to get us to talk to each other and experience the practicality of the faith that brings joy? Father, re reaching out to me through the Catholic Speakers Organization is really a great and easy way for folks to do that. At catholicspeakers.com, um, that's really the best way to contact me and, and start talking about a visit. And I, as a speaker, I, I'm sure you feel the same way. I love working with Catholic speakers. I think it's a great organization. Uh, they do all the heavy lifting, you know, in terms of putting uh, great speakers into into great organizations and churches. And then, uh, you know, they, they, they accommodate both sides so well. And so it's really a pleasure as a speaker. And I know that I've, I've actually used them to hire people too. And it's, uh, it's great to yeah. be on both sides of that. They, they take care of everybody and they do such a great job, don't they? Yep, absolutely, absolutely. So again, uh, Ken uh, Agoric, uh, pleasure meeting you. Uh, it's such a wonderful thing to be able to do these little interviews and to meet uh, great Catholic speakers. And I know that whoever brings you in, you will inspire them, teach them, and put a little light, uh, light and joy into their life. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Father. All right, I'm going to give you my blessing before I go. Thank you for joining me. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless.